Today we are talking about PCOS. PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's estimated about 6 to 12 percent of women in the U.S. around 5 million people suffer from this condition. PCOS is commonly diagnosed with blood tests done by either your primary care doctor or your OBGYN. Once you're diagnosed, most people are started on hormonal agents such as birth control pills and spironolactone to help regulate the hormonal issue at hand. So we do see patients for acne treatments in addition to those medications and topical regimens that you would routinely use for acne. We can add lasers and energy-based devices into the mix. If the acne previously had created scarring. Those treatments are also done on patients. Although we may have been able to control everything, if there's marks left, we wanna come back in and make your skin look smooth again. And then the other thing that bothers women and is extremely common is facial hair or body hair that is not routinely seen on average on women. So especially facial hair, we see a ton of it. Um, it's a very common problem. And in combination with controlling the excess male hormones that are causing this, we are reducing the hair back down. Because once the hair is converted from soft, finer, more feminine hair to coarser hair in this area, there's no going backwards. So the only way to deal with this hair is to have it permanently removed. If you think that you may have PCOS or know that you may have PCOS or are suffering from some of these issues, these are some of the problems that we help handle as part of your PCOS journey.